All right, so I've had a request for a tutorial on my house cube. Let's get to that. First, I'm going to scramble that up. Not doing anything in particular, just scrambling. Right. I think that should probably be good. Good for you. Good for me. Now, the thing I like to do is I start from the roof down. You can do it any other way, but I like to start with the roof. So the first thing, you're going to want to align your white, your yellow and white uh, peaks, I guess you could call those. And then you want to align them to your centers. Now, pay attention because your blue one and your green one, you could get those confused and mess it up. It happens to me a lot if I'm not paying attention. Now, this flat red one that is just red, it aligns to your green center. Your, so the first thing you want to do is align these four to the four centers, just like you would do a regular cross on a regular Rubik's Cube, like this one here. So now essentially you have just this. The corners happen to be kind of sort of in place, but we're not going to work. Oops. We're not going to worry about that right now, because you, first you just want to put them in place. No, let's go ahead and put them in right. I'll teach you how to do that other way. I was going to show you harder way later, more advanced technique. So now we have those, that one's already in, this one's turned, there. Now you have your first layer, the roof, technically complete. Now, we have to put in these four edges here. Three of them are already in, but they're in the wrong, one is in the right spot, one is solved. Now let's do more. You align the one that needs to go here under the color it happens to be. Turn it away, down, and back, and that puts it in. I know this isn't a very useful tutorial, but it's a tutorial nonetheless. You want to learn how to solve it, learn how to solve a regular 3x3. Three three. Now for these, these you have to pull out one of those two, so you have to ram something else in there doesn't really matter what because you'll take it out again in a minute. Now the white blue, you align it to the white, put it to the blue, now you just pulled out your white green, align it, away, back, up, there. Now your two layers are complete. Ah, now we've reached our first parity. Normally when this happens, I see orange is our bottom layer you would have, let me see, something like this, where it would be this angle or a straight line across, a dot, or your full cross. Those are the only options you can get. Now, in this one, we just have a single line. That means something's wrong. What's wrong? Well, one of the short, short answer, this piece is flipped. Since it doesn't have any real orientation, this piece is flipped upside down. So if you take it out, do a middle rotation, spin your bottom so it's down here, 
you haven't messed up anything here. Put it there. Take it out again. Now it's back here. Put it back. Rotate it down. Put it back in. And put it back up. Now, oh, nope. Still not right. I didn't do something right. It's me. Oh, no, wait. That was right. I forgot a step. Shit. Alright, now you have to solve your this corner again. All the other three should be right, but this one... Now if you look to your bottom, it should be right. You have an L. So in which case, make your line, turn it, make your cross. Now your two layers are solved and your cross is solved. So now you just have to worry about... getting all of these in the right place. So, how do I do that again? Give me a minute to remember the algorithm. Is that a... Yeah. Okay. Green and white, blue and yellow need to switch. There. And now, you see all your centers are aligned and you have your cross still. Now you have to worry about putting your corners in the right spot. Or, you know what, let's just do that. Let's see, are there any of them that are in the right place? No. Okay, so we just pick one and start going from there. Now this one's in the right spot and we keep going. This one's right. This one's right. These two are wrong. Now let's go ahead and solve it anyway. I'll show you why. Let's solve that top layer. Because we've reached another parity right now. I forgot how to do this. Hang on. Right side. There we go. There we go. Now I can show off the second parity, which this piece and this piece are swapped. Now the only the only way to get that normally is if something else is swapped. You can't just swap only two pieces. It won't work that way. So that means these two pieces, these two corners here or these two corners here, one of the two, it doesn't matter are swapped with each other. So to fix that, just swap the corners. Now you have to solve your second layer again. Second layer. Now our last layer
cross. Now let's get the cross right. These two need to switch. There we are. This one's in the right spot. None of these three are. Now we do that until, okay, these, now they're all in the right spot, but they're not oriented. So let's start turning things. And what this algorithm is doing is turning these two corners here. See, now these two are right. And what you want to do with this algorithm is keep the two that you want to change on the right. The two on the left won't change. And there you have it. That's how you fix all of your parodies and solve a house cube. 12 minutes in.